What is going on everybody? This is Kevin here and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Blue Raspberry Microphone. Now starting off I just wanted to let you know that this entire voiceover has been created with the Blue Raspberry. So if you're curious about the audio quality from this microphone, just listen to this video. I also recommend you taking a look at the video description for current pricing of this product, but without further ado, let's dive on in and see what the Blue Raspberry has to offer. In my opinion, there are two main selling points for this microphone that set it apart from the other microphones offered by Blue. The first is its very small size, as you'll see in a little bit, and also the fact that not only does it connect to Mac and PC, but it can also connect to iOS devices via the lightning connector. This is awesome if you want to record high quality audio into your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Blue provides you with many items inside of the box. Starting off, we have the actual Blue Raspberry itself. Then we have a nice pouch that has the Blue logo on it. Then we have some literature that's available in several different languages. We have a cord that features micro USB on one end and lightning on the other end. This is of course used to connect the microphone to your iOS device. We then have a micro USB to full size USB 2.0 cord that will of course connect the microphone to your computer. We have an adapter that will allow you to connect your blue raspberry to a microphone stand. And then finally we have a registration document. Aesthetically, this is a very stylish microphone. The device features a red kind of leather material along with silver accents. We also have the blue logo and an indicator light. On the left side of the device, we have a wheel that toggles the volume level that is useful if you are monitoring your audio. On the right side of the device, we have a similar wheel that covers the volume of the microphone. And then on the rear of the device, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that's used for monitoring the audio from the microphone. And then we also have a micro USB port that's used for transferring the audio from the microphone to either your computer or your iOS device. In addition to that, the base of the microphone allows you to swivel it 360 degrees so that you can get the microphone at the perfect angle to record your audio. That's really awesome. And then, in addition to that, the base can even be moved around, and you can even move it so that it folds right into the microphone itself, so that the unit is about as small and portable as possible. The main microphone unit also has the ability to be screwed off of the base, which means that it has the ability to then screw onto a universal tripod mount. In addition to that, you can also screw in the adapter that allows you to directly mount this microphone onto a universal microphone mount. All this flexibility with the microphone is what I really appreciate about it. You can really use it in many ways. Now that I've gone over the design and form factor of the microphone, let's do a demonstration of connecting it to both your iOS device and your computer. This is a plug and play device which means that it is not necessary to install any extra apps or drivers on any of your devices. So to plug it into your iOS device, in my case my iPhone 6 Plus, all you need to do is take the lightning cable that's included, plug the micro USB end into the micro USB port, and plug in the lightning end into your device, and boom, you're ready to go. Once you plug the blue raspberry into your iOS device, it automatically overtakes the internal microphone. So it's literally as easy as that. Then, as you can see in this example, you can go over to the Voice Memos app and begin recording audio directly from the microphone. You could even go into the GarageBand app and do the same. You could do it in pretty much any app that records audio, as I mentioned before. Then, as you can see in this example, I'm using the microphone as the main audio source for a video that I'm creating with the camera app. So that's a really cool feature. If you're planning on using the camera from your iOS device to record high quality videos, well, it's now even more possible because you'll have great sounding audio. As far as recording audio into your computer goes, the process is just as easy. All you need to do is take the other cable, which is a micro USB to USB 2.0 full size, and plug the micro USB end into your blue raspberry. Then, of course, plug the USB 2.0 into your computer's USB port. So this concludes my review of the Blue Raspberry. As far as the audio quality goes, you be the judge because this entire video's voiceover was done with the actual microphone itself. 
in my opinion, I think it is very good and impressive, especially considering the small size of this microphone. So if you're interested in buying one of these, take a look at the video description as I have a link taking you directly to the product on Amazon, and check out the next video where I compare this microphone to the Blue Yeti, which is another popular microphone by the Blue Company. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.